Um. Okay then. Hello and hope you're a fantastic day, and welcome to the Spira Hotel, a indie horror furry game. The perfect combination. We need more furry horror games. Like, like so seriously. Like, come on. You you have to imagine. Like, especially for those that love and agree with me here. My little tiny tiny tangent. Uh, Ruby Quest is a game that needs to get finished, even if it needs to get remade. And for those that are like furry, or those who like horror, you should check out my previous series called Ruby's Quest. I'll put it up above if I remember. And if not, you should just type Nico Plays Ruby Quest. You should check it out. It's really cool. RPG Maker, like same engine as Changed, for instance, but it's like the furry characters in like an SCP kind of, you know, containment breach lab and really cool cutscenes. I really love that game. But I'm always looking for more furry slash horror games. And this one is uh, one you can get for free on Steam or H.io. And it was released on the 3rd of April. In it, you play a receptionist at Vespira Hotel. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know, man. You'll need to answer the calls and deal with their requests. You can take the old-fashioned lift to different floors where key items are located E to pick up and talk to guests. Different choices lead to different endings. And press T to check your target when you are lost. And it features jump scares. Future updates, controller support. I have no idea what endings or what could happen or how long the game is. So, uh, I guess we're just going to start. Like I said, furry characters. Now, now you're now I've proven it. Very old timing, but with color. Bolden board. Hotel Vesper. Recruiting hotel staff. Generous remuner remunerations. Wow. Check the letter by the manager? Oh god, the sensitivity. That is horrible. That is. Ah, oh, that, like, they fixed it immediately. Okay. Oh, big phone. A lot of keys. Oh my god. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Dear someone else, Mr. Meow Oliver, it's a pleasure to have you in Vespira Hotel. Starting today, you'll provide excellent service to our guests. For new employees who are not quite acquainted with our workflow, here are some. Uh, here is some advice. Do not enter room 402, even if there's any noise, it is abandoned. The warehouse is located on B1, and the sluice? The elevator? Uh, tool room is in the middle of the corridor of the stairs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hello. Good evening, sir. I am here to check out. Um. Uh. At, at this time? I'm in a rush. She's not here. Must go now. Who are you looking for? There's a lady in green with a paint box. If you see her, please do tell her somebody is looking for her. Um. I'll, I'll keep an eye at it, but please return the key. Uh, sorry, I almost forgot. Here is the key. I hate motorcyclists. Receive the key. Thank you. Uh, w w which floor? Um, ah, 403. Okay. So this one. Let's see if I put it back there. Um, let's see. Na, 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 na. Do not enter 402. The... Oh. Is this reception? No! Hello, this is reception of a spare hotel. How may I help you? I can't find any trace of a bath towel in 205. Literally every corner. If it's not done by any mythical sea dweller, then it's because you are neglectful and careless. I am so sorry. I will send... Uh, wait. Deliver towels to 205. Um. Uh. Can I drop the, can I can I drop the phone? Can I drop the phone? Okay, automatic. The towels. Um Okay, maybe I should just keep this on me so I can read it at any time. Ooh, flashlight. Uh wait, it was for ob objective, wait. 
Also, we can save, so... Oh, nice. Uh... Was it for... For zero five? Okay. We need to, like, enter the room, of course. An ordinary pendulum clock with a cabinet under... I'm a little concerned. Try opening the door. The door is locked, and the clock seems to have some kind of mechanism. Hmm. Okay, something... Interesting, interesting. Okay, that's out, so I don't, we're not going there. I can literally grab the lid and it goes in the inventory system. I'm kind of curious then. Like... A vinyl record player haven't used in a long time. There's no record on the record player. Okay. The game is, of course, uh, mildly poorly translated from... I can't recall if Chinese or Japanese from the... Hey, you know what? We'll try the elevator. Oh, okay. Well, first, we probably had to find a... No, no, no. We need to get a towel, and I'll assume the tool room is in the middle of the guest room corridor. The warehouse is B1. I'll assume it's in the warehouse, so... Uh, both of them, or... What? Okay, so why is this boarded up? Also, I'm gonna turn up the game, it's... Quiet. I don't know what kind of jump scares exist, or how we'll get them, but... As far as I know, we can just... Look in the boxes to see if there's any towels. It's plenty fucking dark in here. Okay, so there's a suspicious box and box of towels, I guess. Okay. I will be a good receptionist. And do my job. I shouldn't need to take the note with me, and I'll probably need the inventory space, but... It was said 402 is what I ignore. One, two. Seems there's some noises inside. Hmm. I think either we're missing the key to 402. Probably. I'd have to double check the um, the keys behind me when I go back down. Like There could be a, just a bad ending of opening it and then, you know, I expect that to happen. Um... Wasn't it for here? Oh, expect you've brought what I want. Pass the towel, dear guest. Here's what you want. Why is that? No, no, just do, do your job. Pass the towel. Took the towel. Considering you have made amends, here's some fair advice for you. Start from the ground. With light each floor we mount. String every number you catch. Wh what? Start with the round with light each floor we mount. Okay, I'm taking a screenshot. I, I, Cause the game doesn't remember objectives in case you do forget, you know, what were you just told. Cause I was on floor 400, but I took a key for 405, but the room for the towels at 200, probably 205. So I was right about the 05, but not the, I switched the first number. Um, light at each floor. So it's like, Seems it's relevant to the box on the B1. Okay. I also got a wrench from this room, so we can uh, make use of that as well. Anyways, we gotta go back to our uh, our post. Don't want to miss any... Uh, don't want to miss a... What was I going to say? Eh. Eh. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Uh, could you book me a room? There's someone chasing me. Um... Well, there's plenty of rooms. Looks like someone is looking for you. Wait. Oh, is this... Oh, this is the person? Wait, someone's chasing. Wait. Wait, someone's chasing you. Who is chasing you? It is someone from... 
Litoralis Town? I don't know who he is, you see. They all looked weird. They stare at me even if I just walk down the street. Sounds frightening. Anyway, I just don't tell anyone I am here. And book me a room. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> Which? It doesn't matter. Give me for a f I mean, that's a mighty coincidence that the key I had accidentally grabbed was 405, but okay. Here you are. Could I ask you one more favor? When the bell tolls 12 times, bring me the ink pot, which is under the pendulum clock. Um... Okay, well, I can't... What, can you, what is that? It is vital. I use a special painting technique that can only work with that particular ink. Okay, get, can I... I hit it there before I came. I thought it would be safer. Yeah, anyways. D uh, don't tell anyone I've been here before. I'm begging you. And book a room for me, please. Okay, when the clock goes 12, but how do I take it? It's locked, but... And it's not about tilting this. Hmm. So how am I supposed to... Unless... Ugh, I just... Okay, we're not going to do that again. I got a wrench, not to... Okay, no. Can anybody hear me? Uh, I can hear you. This is a reception of the Spirit Hotel. How can I help you? I'm in 304. I have turned on... Oh, no key. Uh, I've turned on the tap, but there wasn't a drop of water. I got a wrench just for this. Uh, sounds like something that normally happened in this shit place. How can this be? Maybe it's malfunctioning in some way. I'm sure you can fix it. Uh, I think it maybe has something to do with the sluice. Check the sluice. That was... The basement basement, if I recall. I don't have any keys to really help him out anyway, so... There we go. We go to the sluice. If I'm pronouncing it right, I swear... I swear it's like... I swear it's called a sluice. It's a funny word, though. I'm gonna check every box. This is XO1, XO2... Uh, it was... XO4... I guess. I, I guess I should do it? Cause it's... it is a four. I have to do it again? Open. Okay. I think then that should have... fixed. G good night. You. Do you work here? Um... What are you here for? I didn't see any person at the reception, so I just wandered around a little. Now you can check me in. By the way, I want to know if you saw a girl in green. She has black hair. Um... I might show her- no. I don't think I've ever who, met who you're talking about. I'll, I'll, I'll think that she's not evil, but other, other people are. But it could be easily the other way around. Uh, 302, don't dawdle. You really need to think about if you have met the person I talked. Hopefully, you won't change your mind next time we meet. I'll, I'll keep protecting them until I die or the game changes. I'm kind of curious why the why the main character is also furry. If most of the other characters in Matt aren't furry, we're like we just we're the only cute furry. Okay, well, I seems to be unlocked. The sound of a cabinet. Oh, okay. I'll uh, see if I can help her out then. 
405. Oh, you are here. Thanks for your punctuality. Just in case, have you got what I stored? Uh, on my way past the ink pot. Mm -hmm. You helped me to escape. Those men's strange eyes and fishy smell is disgusting. I will never be here again. Anyways, praise for you for bringing my stuff. It is really important to me. Oh lord, you gave me this key and I can finally use it. Praise for you, I shall see views none hath seen, I shall create true art. Um... Okay then. This is a bad ending. This is it. Time to leave. Stamina, please. I mean, I might as well die to it, fine. What is the ending? Because if I keep roaming outside, there's creatures out there. Eh, I'd rather get what ending is here because I'm not going to do the exact same thing again. If it's specific to dying to that thing. Perhaps under the ground there is also something incomprehensible. Item. <laughs> Alright, well... Wait, T to check your target. Tar target, but... Alright, well, we got our first ending slash death. I, I still don't know about the whole furry character thing. Ugh, I have to remind myself what the font is if it's... I mean, I'll, I can just double check. Hang on. Okay, I can pause. Hang on. What is it? The game... Yeah, it's... Uh, the game is Chinese translated to English, which is why there's... Uh, the discrepancies, but okay. Uh, but yeah, I will. So we know how that opens, and it's evil, and the green woman is a witch or something. We're gonna just become a shitty. I'm gonna go after you, buddy. Invisible walls way, never mind. Can we get hit by a car? Oh yeah, for sure. Can I not get run over? Do you want to wait for the last shift? So, we're just like, just getting the fuck out of here? Ending, leave? Change your mind? Everything is strange in that hotel. You headed to the station and took the last bus. Uh, after those memories fleeted, uh, fleeted in a blink, you need to find another job to fulfill your life. Mm -hmm. No, oh, ending three, a better choice. Okay, well that's an ending. Thanks for playing. Walk away from the unutterable oh we got one ending okay it's based on achievements too so i can track what i have but uh, i'm gonna have to figure out about t i keep forgetting to hit t i think this character is furry though they got a tail i wish like when you talk to them they'd have like their own like almost like how visual novels have the dialogue box you get to see a, a cartoon version of their face that uh, i wish that was a thing in this game um I'll continue as I did in the last playthrough, but without helping the woman. You see, yeah, there's a lady in green with a paint box. So that, she, like, meant the other thing. If you see her, uh, please do tell her somebody is looking for her. No, wait, that means this person is also helping her. If you see her, please do tell her somebody is looking for her. Oh... And four, four or two's there. Uh, almost forgot the key. Thank you. 
as to 403. I should check out 403. So when I go up to room 400, when I'm going to serve like the towers or something, I'll check out 402 and 403. I want to see if I can access the rooms. And if I can't, then taking any of the keys means nothing. And also, I'm just going to put this on the side. Um, but 402, because it could kill me, or I'm, I'm kind of curious what's in it. But I want to do my job otherwise. Uh, yes. But yeah, it's like, if you play the game thoroughly without making a mistake and not dying, that's definitely going to lead to probably, hopefully, a good ending. Um, bath towels 205 again, though. Oh, wait! Oh, I see the numbers! Oh, I thought it was just, like, old blood stains. And the flashlight illuminates it. Oh, okay. Learn something. Okay, it's gonna get the wrench on the... I mean, I might... I mean, as soon as I deliver the towel, the re the phone will probably expect me to be at the reception to answer, so let me get uh, one thing at a time. Wait. Hmm. Alright, well, what, or whatever. Let's do the curse thing first, then. Uh, 403, I wanted to check out. Try to open the key with the... Wait. It's locked from the inside. Maybe opened with a key. Maybe opened by a key. Try to open. They, they told me... Not to enter... For what reason? Is there something I shouldn't see here? There's nothing... Except, I mean, a, a clear case that someone uh, killed themselves or killed someone, but... Um... Alright, well, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so what I'll do this time with the uh, green dress lady is... I'll, I'll... Well, I mean, if I say someone's looking for you... Hmm. I wonder if that would give them... Like a heads up or not. Uh, uh, per perhaps you are mistaking me for someone else. No, it's, I'm, I'm definitely the first person of the start of the game has to be evil. Like like a partner kind of thing. Like Describe uh, to the, her the person's appearance, not the old man. Always nosy Thompson. Oh, it is nothing. Never mind. I don't know the one you're talking about. Oh, that nosy Thompson. Wait, who are we talking about? <laughs> Anyway, just don't tell anyone I am here, and book me a room. Doesn't matter, give me 405. That's the thing, right? Her friend... I th yeah. Could I ask one more favor? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Unless I, unless I said that it was punctual. Uh, but... I'll tell, I want to see what happens when I tell the old man about it, because I'm sure he's the one that wants to kill her. And that's a good thing. Yep, 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 yep. I wish I could skip chat, though, for sure. Alright, also I'm going to get the code on each floor ahead of time. Two... Two, seven... So it's nine, two, seven, and the last one. Uh, we'll go up a floor. Oh wait, that was the last floor. Well, it's nine two seven. Nine, nine, nine two seven. Hmm. Anyways, we got to do the sluice thing quickly so I can get the old man. Because it's like if we're not at the reception for when we get that phone call. That old man doesn't come and basically introduce himself to make it so that we can kill, or presumably, you know, presuming, kill. Yeah. So, I want to find out with them what happens if I rat them out. Um, what are you here for? Hopefully this isn't, like, another friend of hers. Uh, I think I know who you're talking about. I might show you her room. Oh, yeah, wait. Her room was 405. 
Oh, they're, they're both furries characters, too. How do you know I'm here? You filthy outsider. I can smell that tainted blood no matter where I am. I'll destroy you along with... with your feculent... And you, you tainted blood. What? You don't belong here either, but be at ease. I'll bring you salvation. Bro, you dropped a bronze knife. Oh, God. He's... He moved fast. He's picking up speed like a fucking train. Alright, so that gets me killed too. There's no way to escape. Maybe you'll need a weapon. Okay. So... Both characters are fucked up. Oh yeah, T for target. What the fuck is that? I, I still have to do that. Actually, we'll mean load. Yes. Okay. Now we don't have to do that all over again. Uh, well, that's a strange bug. Um, did I fix the water at this point? Man, I don't even know. But I'll... Um, hopefully that floaty key isn't an issue. I, mean, I don't even know what kind of character designs these are, since they have, like, human-esque faces, but they clearly have tails. Eh, with the... how fat the pixels are, it's... I mean... I'm not delivering the ink, so go fuck yourself. We're gonna go quickly, hopefully without missing... any, um... phone calls. Because I want to see what's in the box, if it's just... Three? Seems it requires a three- yep, three-digit password. Enter the first digit. It's nine to s oh, Turn page. God damn it. Seriously. The lock has- There's a clay. Okay, so it's backwards. 729. What the fuck? Oh, it's a vinyl. A time worn record printed with an odd sign. Well, I'm curious what happens if we play it. Maybe it'll uh, read the place of evil. Or maybe it is evil. We haven't died from neglecting anyone, so. Well, while that's happening, and me not helping the woman, I'm going to investigate 403 and 404 and 406. Okay. Because, um, like, the first person was suspicious and we know what key they gave us. I'm wondering if the rooms that he was in, like, shared and there's a hole between them or something like that. I'm curious what is that may be meant to do. Maybe it's like... It'll help cure the madness from any of the... Any of the people, maybe? Oh, wait. I was right! Oh, I was right about the music. After the unthinkable experience, you have a rising hunger for occultism. It is an abyss, yet its profoundity can feed you well. So you just like, wow, that was kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going to start studying the occult stuff because this stuff is real. I mean, if, if you saw like a literal god or the Christian god 
and they're just, or, or Jesus, and they're like, yo, bro, we're actually real. I mean, I'm sure then you'd get an, an immense interest in studying the history of Christianity, for instance. So, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked. It's similarly, if there's occultist stuff like Cthulhu shit and it ends up being real, then people would want to educate themselves, I'm sure. It's not hard to believe. Ending two, trapped deeply. Okay, so there's definitely three endings, and unsure about... Temptation of the Forbidden. Hmm. I'm not sure... How I'd get the first one. The first one is called Damned by the Provincial. I'd have to find out how to get that last... Achievement. I'm gonna imagine the other uh, ending could be complete negligence because I've been there to get all the phone calls this whole time. I'm going to just be absolute shitty now and see if that does anything quickly. Because once I get all the endings, I know I'm done done, but, you know. Uh, and I'm gonna investigate more just in case, like, say, that 402 is important for a reason or because I don't answer the phone, maybe someone will come in and see I opened it. We'll see. Or there's just something I have to find in here. You should maybe shut off actually the, the shut off the water for the twos and see what happens them. <laughs> is this reception? No. What? Where the hell is this call going? Pretending to speak formally. Do you have any interest in loans? Damn, I don't need any of those traps. They all want to rip me off. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll basically be a piece of shit. Oh. Is this reception? Nope. Do I have to? Who knows? How unlucky. Always something wrong with this dumb machine. There's, there's no consequences to ignoring them. It just repeats. Yeah. It's like an Im it's an imaginary multiple path. I don't know. I, I still have to figure out how to get the other achievement, though, so hell, give me a moment. Uh. Interesting. I I'm going to imagine it's a bug, so I'm not going to hop in that. <laughs> that, that could, it was interesting. I could have... I mean, I think I know how to replicate that, but uh, not this time. Ah! Ah! There we go. I've... Vroom! Fucking douchebag fucking drivers, I swear to God. But okay, um... We got a gun, so I was right about draining the water. We we're meant to go in room 402, find, get a murder weapon, which has used a single bullet, unless it's a, you know, five bullet revolver. It's five or six, that's how most of them are. Um, yeah, I'm, let me get to the towel, uh, I, I, then tell the old man, they'll stab the witch, I'll shoot the old man, because they hinted at what I need to do when I die to him, so we'll get the last ending at long last, then we'll be done, I think. Yeah, there's only three en three achievements. We'll get 100% achievements on 100% all endings. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's get this over with. I still don't know about... What... Furry characters. They don't even have furry noses. They have human faces, right? They don't have, like, muzzles. They don't have snouts. They have tails. It's so confusing. But... <laughs> Along with your feculent beliefs. I guess that's a... I don't know, a knife sheath and you you tainted blood you don't belong here either yeah, yeah I mean <laughs> go fuck yourself his knife just sinks through the floor faced with two corpses in front of you you feel a sense of horrent trouble is waiting climbing you're damned escape to a faraway city's Seems to be the only way out. <laughs> I mean, you just could say hey, this this guy stabbed her. There's blood on the knife. His fingerprints are on the knife and not yours. It's a clean cut case. You, you don't have to run away from the police. You, you, you don't have to be that scared of authority. 
Like, unless you find some kind of, like, a, a cult, like, some kind of, like, Cthulhu-esque, oh, you go to the police, but they're all converted as well into the cult kind of scenario. Depends, I, I guess. This is supposed to... Ending one. A lingering nightmare. This is supposed to be happening where? In what What area of the world? I don't think it's, like, Ohio or something. <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't describe, I don't think. It's just Vespera Hotel. Mm, no specific towns in mind, but um, well, either way, that was it. We got all endings, all achievements. And again, it's on Steam for free or itch.io. And I'll put the description down below if you want to, for any reason, play or try the game yourself. Or, hey, 100% it, because now you know how. But either way, it's free, and if you, it, by like downloading the game, having done anything, it, it at least supports the developer. I do believe on Steam. Like normally, if you want to support a developer, it's like wish list, uh, wish list. If not that, follow if you like what the developers made. I saw on their itch.io page that they made two prior furry s games, but they seemed more like the first one. I don't know what it's called. They're not. No, this is zero translation. Uh, it just looks like a a third person shooter with furry characters that look similar to changed but isn't changed. Um, and then some kind of rapid parkour style, like you know, they kind of cut like Call of Duty where you could run on walls, kind of shit, and hyper shooting. I Maybe be into would be what some people are into, but this is like the first horror game that they've made. Um, so in terms of them gaining experience, I would like to see if they could make maybe make more games. So that's at least why I would be like if they liked making this game and it gets enough views or feedback or good positive constructive criticism, maybe they'd make more furry slash horror games at least that's the hope right you got to support the indie devs so then they know what they want to make or just mm, what's the word i'm looking for just i don't know just just we'll have to see because i don't know what they want to make but hey if they got improved and made it so there's more of this but better maybe a good thing no I don't know. But either way, I hope you enjoyed uh, Vespera Hotel. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.